Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing my Sephora play box from the month of September. I'll be telling you exactly what I got, what I thought, and the approximate value. The theme for this month was Next Gen Beauty and as always every Sephora play box comes with a little card for 50 extra beauty insider points that you can earn during the month and then this handy dandy pamphlet folds out and it tells you exactly what you got and why they picked it and how to use it. I'm not like mad at the bag this month because it's not a drawstring bag so it's already a step up but it's this kind of weird plastic fold out zip top bag. I'm not 100% sure what to do with it but it's not a drawstring bag so it is a step up. The sample for this month was unfortunately a perfume. This is the Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb Nectar and this is so florally and on me it just smells terrible so I will not be using this. The first two products that I got are actually ones that I cannot use because of my allergies so let's talk about those first. The first thing that I got is the Sunday Riley Tidal Brightening Enzyme Water Cream and my mom raves about this so I was really hoping I'd be able to use it but no unfortunately I am allergic. But the approximate retail value for this little sample is actually $11.47. The second product that I cannot use is this Peter Thomas Roth Hungarian Thermal Water Mineral Rich Atomic Heat Mask. Long name, I was really looking forward to using this, but unfortunately it has soy in it, so I will not be using this. It will be going to somebody who will. And the approximate retail value for this is $2.80. Next up is this Sephora Lash Craft Big Volume Mascara. I am wearing it right now. Don't know if you can tell, but I really don't feel like my lashes look very volumized. They look nice, but this is still what I would consider like an everyday lash look. It is not a big volume lash look, at least for me. However, as far as value goes, this isn't too bad. It is worth about $5.60. Next up is this Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Face Primer. I really do love this. It is such a good face primer for those days where you're like sick or you just feel shitty or your skin just feels shitty. This is such a good moisturizing, like it just feels nice and healing on your skin. So I really do like this. It kind of sucks because again, this is another product that I feel like everybody has gotten. This is a sample size that you get with points all of the time. So that kind of just feels like a cop out on Sephora's part. However, I do love the product so I'm not like super mad and the approximate retail is about $4. And then last but not least, my favorite product in this box is this Nude Sticks Intense Matte Lip and Cheek Pencil in the shade Kiss. I'm wearing it right now. It's kind of a very matte rosy color. I think it's absolutely gorgeous and the best part about it is that it is a full size product so it is worth $24. I honestly cannot recommend Nude Sticks enough guys. If you have not tried them out, literally every single one of their products is amazing. I love all of their stuff. I don't really use their lip and cheek pencils as lip and cheek pencils. I pretty much use them exclusively as lip pencils, but they are so smooth and creamy and blendable that you could totally use them as cheek pencils as well. I just really don't do the whole cream blush thing, but oh, formula is amazing, color payoff is amazing, and the sisters that founded it are just like super cool, and I'm a big proponent of nude sticks. All right, ramble over. So for those of you that weren't keeping score, that brings the approximate retail value of the Sephora September play box up to $47.87. So that's definitely a very solid box this month. I wasn't able to use a lot of it, which kind of sucked, but the products themselves are good and they were ones that I was excited about using until I found out that I couldn't use them. So I'm not really sure exactly how I feel about it, but I will say it is worth it literally just for the one nude sticks pencil because it is the full size pencil. Granted, it doesn't come with like the sharpener and the little metal case that you would normally get if you bought the full size pencil by itself, but I don't think you need that. Well, I don't need it because I have at least two or three of those already because I already buy a lot of nude stick stuff. So I'm just really happy with the lip pencil. That's worth the price of the box for me. So if you are looking to try out Sephora for yourself, highly recommend it. I know that they have a new Sephora Superfoods box coming out soon. I will not be getting that just because Lots of superfoods are ones that I'm allergic to, like those nuts and the soys, all of that is really good for your skin and really good for your body, but not very good for me. So I will not be getting the new Sephora Superfoods box, unfortunately, but if you guys get it, please let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of it. While you're down there, make sure you subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and make sure you check me out on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat at Ilea. 
As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.